What's going on y'all? This is Kai back here with another video. And today I want to talk about the Portland Trailblazers, my team, because I feel like we finally made the necessary moves in the offseason to compete at the very top of the Western Conference. I'm talking top three seed probably. So let's get straight into it. Dating back to last season, I feel like the very obvious biggest issue with the Trailblazers was really lacking depth in the forward position and lacking depth overall at the very beginning of the season for a good portion of the beginning we're starting anthony tolliver and mario hazonia now if you don't know basketball just know that's not good that's not good at all so we had to address that in the off season we made the playoffs lost in five to the lakers it was it, it, even after that first game it was pretty obvious we didn't have anybody to stop lebron or anthony davis really because Hassan Whiteside isn't fast enough. Nurkic is 300 pounds. He's not fast enough. We didn't have anybody to really stop anybody, truthfully. We're scoring 135 points and still losing games. So we had to address that in the offseason. And I think so far we've done a really good job trading Trevor Ariza, who's super old, and two first round picks, which are probably going to be mid rounders. This one, this previous one was number 16, I believe. And I believe the Rockets took Isaiah Stewart with that pick. So. We trade Robert Covington for Isaiah Stewart in a future first round pick. We're in win now mode. We pretty much need to do that to please our top two stars who are in their prime right now, but aren't gonna be in their prime for very much longer. So we had to make that move. Number two, we went out and signed Derek Jones Jr. And we re-signed Rodney Hood and Carmelo Anthony. So immediately looking at the depth from the forward position compared to last season, you got you got Nasir Little, Zach Collins, Carmelo, Rodney Hood, Robert Covington. That forward depth immediately looks twice as good as it did last season. And our biggest issue last season was our defense. We're top three offense throughout the season, first in the bubble, but we're dead last in defense and like 27th overall throughout the season. I think in order to win an NBA championship, you need to have a top five offense or defense. And then at bare minimum, you need like a middle of the pack in the alternative. So if we can keep that top five offense and maybe go up to like, I don't know, 12 or 13 in defense, that's a championship caliber team. We also traded back for Enos Cantor, who played with us when we made the Western Conference Finals and actually filled in really well while Nurkic was hurt. And we also signed Harry Giles, who was formerly the first overall player coming out of high school. So I think Harry Giles is a really underrated signing. He probably won't make the rotation to begin with, but if we get into a series where we're in situational defense, like the Lakers, I like Harry Giles on Anthony Davis. He's athletic, he's lengthy, he can play big, he can move. That's something that we haven't had at the center position in a long time. Now I want to talk about the two biggest offseason moves I believe in my eyes which were bringing in Derek Jones and trading for Robert Covington as I said previously. I think Derek Jones is going to be really good for us. He doesn't have the highest three point percentage. He's really just an incredible athlete, really lengthy, can play defense, but that is also something that the Blazers haven't had what since like Scottie Pippen in 2000. I mean if you want to talk about Nick Batum and Wesley Matthews, those have been our best wings in the past 10 years. It's not it's not great, you know. We don't have great competition going up against these guys. So I think Derek Jones fills a hole that we had hoped that, you know, Al Farouk Aminu and Maurice Harkless could do for us. But those two guys were all defense, really mediocre offense. A guy like Robert Covington and Derek Jones can come in, get easy points off of Damon CJ's ISOs. I think it's going to be a really, really good fit for us at the three and four position. Now talking about the three and four position, I think we have really, really good depth there now. I'm talking about Zach Collins coming off of ankle surgery, I believe, so he probably won't be ready right away. But Carmelo Anthony and Rodney Hood coming off the bench potentially is going to be really nice for us. You know. Carmelo coming off the bench as you know as renowned of a player as he's been he probably won't like that but truthfully if he's willing to do that and play his role I think not only can he be a six man of the year candidate I think he's going to get a lot of shots and have much higher usage off the bench than he would as in a starter role so if we can get him you know 12 to 15 shots off the bench 20 on a good night you know that's going to be really good for us on nights when Dame and CJ don't have it necessarily 
Shout out to Blazers Vision on Instagram. I want to use their edit here. So projected starting lineup should be Dame, CJ, Derek Jones Jr., Robert Covington, and Nurkic. And our bench is Ant Simons, Gary Trent, Rodney Hood, Carmelo, and Enos Cantor. Not only is that a really stacked team, but I think what's going to push us over the edge is the camaraderie we have together. I've been listening to a lot of the new guys' intro interviews, and a lot of them are just talking about the energy in the building and how much how much leadership we have and guys that have been there for a long time. They know the system. They know what we're trying to do. We're trying to win a championship, and I think this is the roster that with the right mentality and the right camaraderie can win you a championship. We filled our need at defense and we are coming off of very similar roster from what was a top three offense in the NBA last season. So that's gonna be it for me. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, I'd appreciate it. And I'll see y'all next time.